Hey guys, uh, welcome to lesson 11.5, Solving Rational Equations. Uh, and our objective for the day is going to be able to solve rational proportions. We are only going to be doing problems number four and five from our textbook. So problem four is solving a rational proportion. And we are going to solve these the same way we did proportions in chapter two. Uh, we are going to cross multiply. So we have five times the quantity b plus two. Sorry. Is equal to <laughs> three times the quantity b minus two. So now we need to use the distributive property. We've got five b minus 10 is equal to three b minus six. Plus 10. Plus 10. Uh, so get our variables all on one side, subtract three b from both. We're gonna get two b plus 10 is equal to negative six. Subtract 10 from both sides. 2b is equal to negative 16. Divide by two, and b is equal to negative eight. And with these problems, make sure you guys circle your answers because they will be hard to find. So next up, we've got three times seven, which is 21 is equal to c times c minus 4. 21 is equal to c squared minus 4c. Now in order to solve that we need to factor. Yay! So get 21 to on to the right hand side of the equation so we're equal to 0. We've got c squared minus 4c minus 21. We're looking for products of negative 21 that add up to negative 4. So it'll be a negative seven and a positive three. So find the solution, C is gonna be equal to seven and C is equal to negative three. And there we go. Letter C, we've got 10 times two X plus nine. and six times six x plus seven. Distribute, so we're gonna get 20 x plus 90 is equal to 36 x plus 42. Subtract 20 x from both sides. 90 is equal to 16 x plus 42. Subtract 42 from both sides. We're left with 48 is equal to 16x, which when you divide by 16, x is equal to three. Now, if you are looking for a way to check these, all you need to do is plug that value back in for x and you should get a proportion that is equal to itself. All right, letter D, we've got two times the quantity y plus one is equal to three times the quantity y minus one. Distributive property, two y plus two is equal to three y minus three. Subtract two y from both sides of the equation. Two is equal to y minus three. Add three to both sides. And five is equal to y. Now, problem number five. Checking to find an extraneous solution. So in these problems, we will end up with two solutions and one of them will not be a solution for the problem. It will be extraneous. So we're starting off the same way. We're doing our cross multiplying. So we have six times the quantity x plus five is equal to the quantity x plus three times the quantity x plus five. Distributive property, six x plus 30 is equal to, we got a foil, 
Uh, x squared minus 8x plus 15. Plus 8x. Plus 8x plus 15. So we're going to subtract 6x and 30 from both sides of the equation. So we get 0 is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 15. We're looking for products of negative 15 that add up to positive 2. That's going to be a positive 5 and a negative 3. So our two solutions for this quadratic will be negative 5 and a positive 3. So now we need to plug both of those points back into our original to determine which one is the valid solution and which one is the extraneous solution. So let's start with negative 5. Plugging it back in. So we have 6 over negative 5 plus 5 is equal to negative 5 plus 3 over negative 5 plus 5. So when we simplify that, we've got 6 over 0 is equal to negative 2 over 0. Can we divide by 0? No. So this is going to be undefined. So negative 5 is not a solution for this proportion. So now let's plug in 3 for x. So we've got 6 over 3 plus 5 is equal to 3 plus 3 over 3 plus 5. So we've got 6 over 8 is equal to 6 over 8. Last time I checked, those are the same numbers. So yes, that is the solution. So 3 is the solution. Negative 5 is extraneous. This is where circling will come in handy. Or highlighting, or colored pencils, or markers, whatever you so choose. We even have some crayons. Alright, next one. Cross multiply. x minus 4 times the quantity x minus 2. is equal to negative 2 times the quantity x squared minus 4. We're going to have to FOIL. We get x squared minus 6x plus 8 is equal to distributive property negative 2x squared plus 8. We want to get all of our x squareds and everything on the same side of the equation so we're going to add 2x squared and subtract 8. and we get 3x squared minus 6x plus 0 is equal to 0. So we can take out a common factor from those two terms of an x of 3x and we are left with x minus 2 and that is equal to 0. So we have two solutions for this. We have a positive 2 and we have a 0. So let's plug those numbers in and check and see which ones work. So 0 minus 4 over 0 squared minus 4 is equal to negative 2 over 0 minus 2. So we have negative 4 over negative 4 is equal to negative 2 over negative 2. Those both simplify to neg or positive 1. So yes, that is a solution. Now let's plug in number uh, x equals 2. 2 minus 4 is over 2 squared minus 4 equals negative 2 over 2 minus 2. Run out of room. Sorry. So 
we get a negative 2 over 0 is equal to negative 2 over 0. That is undefined, so 2 is not a solution. Okay. Letter C. We're going to cross multiply again. We've got x minus 3 times the quantity x plus 1. And that is equal to 1 times the quantity x plus 1. FOIL, x squared minus 2x minus 3 is equal to x plus 1. We're going to subtract x and subtract 1 from both sides of the equation. x squared minus x minus 3x minus 4 is equal to 0. Now we're going to factor. We're looking for products of negative 4 that add up to negative 3. We're going to have a positive or a negative 4 and a positive 1. Our two solutions are x equals 4 and x equals negative 1. Let's check and see which ones are the valid ones, which ones are extraneous. So we've got 4 minus 3 over 4 plus 1 is equal to 1 over 4 plus 1. So we've got 1 over 5, 4 plus 1. So it'll be 1 over 5 is equal to 1 over 5. So that is a solution. So let's try negative 1. Negative 1 minus 3 over negative 1 plus 1 is equal to 1 over negative 1 plus 1. So we've got negative 4 over 0 is equal to 1 over 0. Undefined, cannot divide by 0. Negative 1 is an extraneous solution. Okay, last problem if you got some room. Letter D, we've got the uh, Z times the quantity Z plus 6. Is equal to 2 times the quantity Z plus 6. Make sure you use the distributive property. z squared plus 6z is equal to 2z plus 12. Subtract 2z plus 12 from both sides of the equation. And we get z squared plus 4z minus 12 is equal to 0. So we can factor that. We're looking for multiples of negative 12 that add up to a positive 4. So we're going to have a positive 6 and a negative 2. So our two solutions are z equals negative 6 and z equals 2. Now let's plug our two solutions in, see if they work. Negative 6 over negative 6 plus 6 is equal to 2 over negative 6 plus 6. Negative 6 over 0 is equal to 2 over 0. Can we divide by 0? No, so that's undefined. Now plug in 2. We've got 2 over 2 plus 6 is equal to 2 over 2 plus 6. We don't even need to add them together. We can see those are identical. Yes, that is a solution. All right, so these problems, you will have to be doing a bunch of work. You're going to have to do the work to check your solutions. Check your fingers and figure out if they are check undefined your, Check your pencil lead. You will need pencil lead for this. All right, so we will see you in class tomorrow for some more practice. Have a great night.